It's the 31st of October 2023 and not only is it Halloween, Swing Wolf, the developer of Launch Manager, made a new launcher. And if I press the home button on the remote control, it may take a few seconds, but you will see a custom launcher there in the name of Wolf Launcher appear. So if I go into Launch Manager there, and let's just go down to the bottom of the screen. And as you can see there, version 1.1.9. If I go back into the home button, it's going to take me back to home, but soon enough, yep, it's going to take me back into Wolf Launcher. So let's just have a look. I'm going to go into the home screen and I'm going to go across to settings, down to My Fire TV, go to about. And as you will see here, I am running Fire OS 6.7.0.0 on my Fire TV stick 4K. Now, something a lot of you may be saying is, well, I've downloaded this before. It worked for a few hours and then it stopped working again. But as I understand it, the developer Swing Wolf has enabled you now on this one if you know what you're doing to decompile the app and he's given you permission to do that change the package name and then recompile it load it on your stick and then it will make it harder for Amazon to block it now I'm not sure how to do that at the moment but it's something I'm eager to learn and if I do find out I will do a video on it so make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you find out about all the latest details so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this custom launcher set up for yourself. All the details and more coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first things first, if you haven't got Downloader installed, then go across to the magnifying glass, down to search, middle button, and then type or say Downloader. If you type in it, then you will see Downloader appear as a suggestion underneath the on-screen keyboard. Go down to it, middle button on the remote control. If you've just spoken Downloader, then you should be at this particular screen screen here so highlight the orange and white downloader with the arrow pointing down just as I have middle button and then middle button again to start downloading and installing it this bit shouldn't take too long once it's installed you will see installing go to open middle button on the remote control now this bit is very important you must allow downloader access to your photos media and files on your device so make sure that allow is highlighted just like it is up there middle button on the remote control and then middle button again to get rid of the quick start guide then you want to press the back button on the remote a couple of times to come back out go all the way back to the home screen so keep pressing the back button and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog once that's highlighted then go down to my fire tv then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options now if like mine you don't see it then all you need to do is go into about and then find the name of your device and highlight it like mine mine says fire tv stick 4k yours may say something different just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need, you're already a developer, come up at the bottom of the screen. Then stop pushing the middle button. Then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about. Go down to developer options, middle button and then go down to apps from unknown sources. If it's set to off, like mine is middle button on the remote control middle button again and then it goes to on if you've got install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps middle button on the remote control go down to downloader and if it's switched off like mine middle button and that turns it on then keep pressing the back button until you get back to the main menu then go across to the settings cog just on the right there middle button and then go down to my fire tv middle button and then go into developer options middle button and then just make sure that adb debugging is switched on if it's switched off like mine middle button on the remote and that toggles it on and then keep pressing the back button on the remote until you get back to the main menu now this bit is very important 
I'm going to tell you to restart your Fire Stick now because sometimes ADB debugging needs you to restart before it is active. So the best way to do that is to grab your remote control, press and hold the play pause button and the middle button on the remote until you get a message to say that your device is powering off and then let go. There you go, let go. So I'm going to let that restart. There we go, my Fire Stick's just loading up. I just paused the video there because you didn't need to sit through all that. So let's grab the remote control and what we're going to do is we're just going to go into downloader again and then we're going to press the up button once and the middle button once and I'm going to type in there 21203 that's 21203 press the play pause button on the remote and then my website should load in a couple of seconds and then once the website loads just keep going down and what we're looking for is wolf launcher so once we see Wolf Launcher, we just put our mouse over the Wolf middle button and then close any adverts that come up. And then hopefully it should start downloading. And once it's downloaded, you should see this here. So keep going down, highlight cancel, then press the right part of the ring on the remote control to highlight install middle button and then it should start installing. Now, once it's installed, you should see app installed. So go down, make sure done's highlighted, middle button, and then go across to delete there, middle button, go across to the second delete there, middle button. We don't need that anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press the home button on the remote control. And first of all, I'm just gonna make sure that Wolf Launcher actually works because there's no point in setting that as the default launcher if it's not going to work. So go across to the apps icon just to the left of the settings cog, middle button, and then go down to the W there, the white and blue W icon, middle button. Now the first time you load it, it may take a few seconds. And there we go, it's loaded. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a few customizations on it. So I'm gonna press the three horizontal lines on the remote to get the menu to come up. There we go, I just had to press the down part of the ring on the remote control and then the three horizontal lines. And let's go down to launcher settings, go into sections, manage sections. Now, as you can see, I've got a gap right there at the top. So I'm going to manage sections. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move applications above widgets. So middle button and then the up part of the ring and then middle button again, and then down to close down at the bottom there. And there you go, that brings that up to the top. If I go back and we've got here hidden apps, so we can hide a lot of the Amazon apps. So I can hide Amazon Game Center, Amazon Kids, Amazon Live Shopping. Don't use Amazon Music, hide that. Amazon Photos, don't know why there's two of them. Amazon Mini TV, don't need that. App Store, don't need that. Let's just keep going down. The Downloads folder, don't need that, that Downloads folder. Fire TV Profile UI, don't need that. Fire TV Player, there's two of those, don't need that. I, I like Freevee. But um, do I need it? No. So get rid of that. Home, I will leave in case I need to go back to the normal Fire TV Stick Home menu. IMDB, old news there. I'll leave those. Let's get rid of news. Don't want that. Prime Video, don't need that. Screensaver, don't need that. System Status Monitor, get rid of that. What should I watch? Let's get rid of that. And that's it. I'll keep the rest of them. So I'm going to press the back button on the remote control and I'm going to have a nice little wallpaper so i've downloaded some wallpaper from the internet so i'm just going to turn on application wallpaper there put the tick in there go down to select wallpaper and i need to allow this to access photos media and files so make sure allows highlighted middle button go to internal storage and i downloaded this stuff from google from downloader so I went into downloader and this one here i like this one here so i'm just going to go into that and hopefully in a few seconds that should appear. So, but now how do you get it to come up when you press the home button? Because if I press the home button now, it goes to the Amazon normal launcher. Okay, I can go back to that just by going into the uh, W on a white background. That's fine, but I don't, I want it to come up all the time. So this is where we need to go into downloader again. So if you've come out of my website for any reason, Let's just go home. You need to type in to the on-screen keyboard there, 21203, just as I've got 
on the screen, then press the play pause button on the remote, wait for my website to load, then go down and keep going down until we see the wolf again. And we need to go below the wolf. There you go. Launcher manager version 119. So put your red circle over the cog middle button. And then when you see this, go down to cancel. Once cancel is highlighted, press the right hand side of the ring on the remote middle button and let's install launcher manager. And then let's just go to done middle button and delete this. Let's highlight the first delete middle button, highlight the second delete middle button, and then just keep tapping the left hand side of the ring on the remote control until home's highlighted middle button and then back button twice so that we're back to the main menu. Now I should say here, when you configure launcher manager, it's trying to do something that the system really doesn't want you to do. It's going into the depths of the system. Your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube or Fire TV device is at risk. If anything goes wrong, then you could trash your stick. It may not fire up. It may not work. There may not be any way of getting it back. So take this as a warning. I take no responsibility for anything that happens from now on to your stick. Once you've, you've followed these instructions, they've worked on mine, so they should work. But there's a possibility that Amazon could revoke the app. It, they could do something which could cause problems later on. So just take heed. There's no guarantees with this. At some point, your fire stick could get trashed. So if you're not prepared to lose the fire stick, then stop now. Remove both these apps. It's not too late because we haven't configured anything yet. But if you're quite happy to proceed and you, you understand the possible consequences, then please carry on. Let's try and find the launcher manager icon. So go into the applications icon just to the left of the settings cog, middle button, and there's the launcher manager just there. So highlight that, that's the white cog on a blue background, middle button. And then what we need to do is we need to go into launcher options just up the top there. So middle button, discard the old method, discard the enable custom launcher and disable custom launcher. So what we need to do is we need to go down, first of all, to custom launcher options just at the bottom there. OK, so go into that and then we need to make sure that our active custom launcher is wolf launcher or active launcher is wolf launcher. So highlight active launcher, middle button and go down. And we need to set that to be wolf launcher. So middle button on the remote, double check, triple check that wolf launcher is under active launcher. Now, the next thing we need to do is LM handler status. If it's inactive like mine is, highlight it, middle button and it should go to active. Back button on the remote control once, and then middle button again to go back into launcher options. Go down to new method and go down to home button hook. And as you can see, it says disabled on mine. If yours says disabled, which it probably will do, middle button, and then you should be at home button hook, and it should say home button hook is off. So with home button hook highlighted, middle button again. And then what you want to do is you want to go and make sure that there's a tick just to the left of always allow from this computer. So that box should be highlighted in blue. If it is middle button on the remote control and that puts a tick in there, then press, press the down part of the ring on the remote to highlight OK middle button. And there you go. It says, please wait, setting up LM hook. This will restart. OK, so it goes back into the LM launcher after a few seconds. If it doesn't automatically, then go back into the white cog on a blue background. So make sure that launcher options is highlighted, middle button, and then go down to home button hook again, middle button. And you might need to turn this off on again. So mine is showing as off. So middle button on the remote. There you go. Hook state goes to on and go down to use ADB for home. That if that says hook state off like mine does, middle button and that should go to on. Now, let's press the back button on the remote control a few times. We're back to the main menu. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the home button on the remote and let's see what happens. So it goes back to the Amazon they go the Amazon home just briefly and then it goes into launcher from there. So 
if you want to go back in and change anything in Launcher Manager, then you can go back into Launcher Manager there. And if you want to say, for instance, perhaps turn off the custom launcher at any time, go into Launcher Options, go down to Home button hook there, middle button, go into Use ADB for Home, middle button, turn that off, go into Home button hook, turn that off as well and that turns it back off and hopefully if we go back now and press the home button on the remote yep we go back to the normal stock amazon launcher and if you want to completely remove these from your system then at any time then just go across to the settings cog and then down to applications middle button then go down to manage installed applications middle button and then go down to launcher manager and then just press the play pause button on the remote control middle button to confirm and then if you want to get rid of wolf launcher as well again down to wolf launcher play pause button middle button to confirm and that also uninstalls it so there you go as of the 31st of october 2023 launcher manager 119 still seems to be working as i say with this particular version it apparently it is possible that you can change the package name if you know how to decompile and recompile an app it might show if you decompile and recompile it that there's a virus in it if you check it out with total virus or virus total but don't worry there's no virus in there it's just that the package name doesn't match what it's supposed to be so it's basically it's 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 reporting it as a false positive but that should stop the app from being removed from your system at a later date if you know how to do that and like I say I'm going to see if I can learn how to decompile change the package name and recompile this app and if I find out how to do it I will make a video for that so please make sure you've subscribed I hope you like this video and if you did please consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. Or if you're in the market for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories or anything technical, have a look in the description down below. There's some great links down there for you. There's also my Amazon shop with loads of technical things that I've used in the past and found to be great. So have a look through there. Donating to this channel or buying or subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you covering all sorts of subjects right here, right now. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.